I'm Tom from Shockbite, and in this video, I'll be guiding you through the process of installing Geyser MC and Floodgate on your Minecraft Java Edition server. Geyser MC is a proxy for Minecraft that allows Bedrock Edition players to join Java Edition servers. Due to Geyser simply just being a proxy, worlds and players are unable to actually exist on a Geyser MC instance. It simply bridges a connection between a Bedrock player and an existing Java server. You can prevent the need for two servers by installing Geyser as a plugin. We also recommend doing this as it's the easiest method for setting up Geyser. If you're also wanting Bedrock players who don't own a Java account to be able to connect to the server, you'll need to additionally install Floodgate. We highly recommend avoiding switching your server to offline mode as this will allow any user to connect as whoever they want. When both are installed, most Bedrock clients will be able to join your Java server. There's been Windows 10 Edition, mobile devices such as iOS or Android, Kindle Fire, Gear VR or Oculus VR, Nintendo Switch and Xbox. Unfortunately, due to platform limitations, PS4 and PS5 users will be unable to connect without requiring further modification to that device. As Floodgate is an add-on for Geyser, you'll need to install Geyser first. To begin, you'll first need to download the latest version of Geyser MC based on the server platform that you're running from the Geyser MC website. For this example, we'll be using the paper server type, so I'll go ahead and download Geyser Spigot. On screen now is each version of the plugin along with the server platform it's built for. Be sure to install the correct version for your server. When you've downloaded the plugin, head over to your server control panel and stop the server. Then go ahead and navigate to Files FTP File Access. Log in, then locate the plugin folder. Click the upload button on the left hand side and upload your Geyser MC jar file. We'd recommend also installing via version here if your server type supports it. This plugin helps to ensure version compatibility between Java and Bedrock. Now return to your server's control panel and start the server. You can test your server's Bedrock connection by typing Geyser Connection Test, your IP and then your port in your server's console. Your Geyser configuration should automatically adjust to your active IP and port, so you can connect with your regular server IP. If the connection fails, try restarting your server and double checking the port matches your server port within the Geyser MC config.yml file. In some cases, you may need to disable Enforce Secure Profile in your server's configuration file for Geyser to work. However, this can be solved by installing Floodgate. To begin, you'll now need to download the correct version of Floodgate for your server. This again can be found in the video description. If you're using the Spigot version of Floodgate, you'll also need to install Placeholder API. When downloaded, stop your server once again and go ahead and upload this file into your server's plugin folder. Now go ahead and restart your server. When your server's started, you'll now need to stop it again and head into Files FTP File Access. Now locate the plugins folder and within it, locate the geyser directory and open config.yml. Inside your server's config file, change the auth type to floodgate. Now save the file. You may also notice that if a bedrock player is to join, they'll have a prefix on the username. We recommend you keep this prefix. However, if you'd like to change what character or characters the prefix is, go ahead and load up your config file for Floodgate and set username prefix to whichever prefix you desire. Now go ahead and start your server. If your server has whitelist on, you'll notice that using the typical whitelist commands will not work for Bedrock accounts. Instead, you'll have to type slash f whitelist add player name to whitelist Bedrock users. It's important to note that you'll need operator permissions to be able to use these commands. Players should now be able to join your Java server using a Bedrock client. If you found this video helpful, or if you require further assistance, let us know in the comments down below or get in touch with our team by opening a support ticket and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to subscribe to Shockbite Tutorials for more game and game server tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.